Hi everyone, this is Greg here from Just A Meme Podcast, where we chat to teams using blockchain uh, technologies to solve real world problems. Uh, lucky number 25 today, uh, we have uh, a really well-timed episode given the upcoming launch of NFTs on the XRPL. We're chatting to Kai Leroy uh, of both on XRP and XPunks, two leading projects in the NFT space on XRP. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to have you here on this sort of momentous occasion <laughs> yeah th thanks uh, thanks for having me Craig. Uh, times are crazy uh, you know we're about uh what is it let's say uh, like about 90 hours uh well 100 hours yeah. well, it's like, like it's that. like christmas yeah. isn't it it's it like is. uh <laughs> counting the minutes well yeah. we've been counting the minutes since uh since the 8th of october anyway so <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah cool so let's just dive into a bit about you and your background like what was before <laughs> crypto and uh how did you get into it all uh, what was before crypto? Yeah, um, I was running a startup while doing a master degree at uh, Erasmus University in Rotterdam, uh, the Netherlands. Oh, yes. um, and I, yeah, uh, when starting that, that studies uh, strategic management. I, it was a business background. I uh, did a marketing study before uh, in a, a marketing bachelor's. And then I will do my master's. I was, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to launch companies. I launched my first company when I just turned 18, uh, booking in was it appointments for a cleaning company? Uh, I always wanted to, you know, do something uh, nice. with, 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 for myself instead of working for someone else. Um, so uh, then fast forward, uh, during my master's, I launched a company called Herebeer, which is a web to marketplace where uh, users can post small tasks like painting a wall, fixing a closet, hanging on a TV, uh, like very small tasks that are like two, three hours and it can be done yeah. by students to promote flexible work and we'll take like a small fee for each transactions on the platform. Oh, nice. Yeah. So uh, we launched after about a year, uh, but wasn't the right fit um, at that time. So um, yeah, about a half a year in. The, we saw the revenue not really going up. Users were growing, but revenue was like we're doing like five euros a month, and it was <laughs> taking a lot of time to get users to to yeah. activate users. <laughs> um, and yeah, I was I was the only one of the team working like full time on it, uh, doing like 60, 70, 70 hours a week, while the others were doing five to ten hours. Yeah, and it doesn't really make a startup work. So yeah, then at a moment of disparity basically i uh, asked bastian who's the co-founder for a job he was working in the liquor business at that time to okay. <laughs> to 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 basically do a small job that i can do in between my meetings for hero beer which is the, the the web2 marketplace and what happened then well i went there uh, to to go for the job um what we were i was meant to sell cocktail boxes uh so we were testing out the product there uh, got a little bit tipsy and then woke up Friday with a hangover, as you can <laughs> understand. And that's the moment I realized like, hey, I really want to keep working for myself. Uh, how am I going to do this? I was really broke. Um, and I was I was in the XP community for quite some time. So during that time, you had okay. the airdrop craze. Uh, NFTs yeah. were still it was still a big thing then. And I just thought like, what if we can combine that, you know? So how about we issue a token? that resembles an NFT for now because Ripple like a week before announced their creator fund. Um, so they were going to go big on NFTs. So I thought, okay, I saw this as an opportunity. So as broke as I was, I borrowed hundred euros from my girlfriend, uh, issued a token on the XPL with that money. And uh, yeah, a day later, suddenly the Xpunks were uh, the main NFT on the XPL. That's and crazy. two days later, there <laughs> were lots of other projects evolving, uh, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, that's that is quite a story. So did you uh, ever give back that hundred quid? <laughs> <laughs> well, f funny enough, a, a community member said about I think like we were four weeks in, like, hey, did you ever pay your girlfriend? Back? I'm like, no, I didn't actually. <laughs> I forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh no, wicked. So that was then. That's X Punks, as I suppose it has been for. A year now, I guess it's been. A, yeah, it's been around. the Xbox yeah. inception was October eighth, twenty twenty one. So it's been a year oh, and so about... just past your anniversary of that, yeah. and then we get sort of real NFTs coming out very yeah. soon. So exactly. that's all brings us on to on XRP. Where I guess going through Xpunks, you realise there was actually a need for something else, which yeah. is the tools to do xpunks times <laughs> what, however many creators want to do it and i guess that was the uh seed for on xrp yeah. then 
So yeah, no, yeah, uh, no, you're 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 on the point there. So what was like and what happened was in the beginning is that there were also a lot of scum for activity. So there were a lot of um, rock pulls happening. You know, saying you're going to be launching an NFT, issuing a token is already very easy uh, to make it seem like you're going to be very successful. And because of the craze and the the bullish market sentiment at that mo- t- moment, yeah. everybody always dove into everything. Yeah. Um, so we thought like, what if we create a safer environment for all these projects, but also for all the holders of these projects. So, um, then we thought like, Hey, what if we just create like a decentralized exchange interface because uh, Sologenic was the only one at that moment along, well, yeah. along with the, the built-in uh, DEX uh, interface on Zoom. Yeah. So we thought like, Hey, what if we create a safer environment? So, uh, we'll set up a set of listing requirements together with the community um and additionally we did like a global id check uh, and if a, if a project adheres to all those requirements uh they go into one of one interview with louis um happy birthday to him by the way he's uh, currently it's birthday um and then when he says okay it's not a one-man army promising the world okay yeah you know you can get listed very very low a low a low hanging fruit requirements, but it needs to be as safe as possible. Like KYC, issue account needs to be black holed. Uh, there needs to be like some form of a roadmap or white paper um, if you want to issue a token. If in regards to the actual NFTs after XLS twenty, it's not going to be that complicated, obviously. Yeah, because there's also people that just want to promote their artwork or their photography, so you don't want to <laughs> them to force them to write a white paper. But on the token side, we did require that, and yeah, that went very successful. Um, so the second step we did was, you know, uh, creating a content platform to educate others, also creating it more safe for both holders and projects, you know, like, what are you building? Where are you building? Um, and create that, that educational aspect. And then that evolved into, Hey, what are we doing here is actually making blockchain more accessible. So then our vision changed to, 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 you know, making blockchain as accessible. And then obviously the XPL, the most accessible blockchain. And that involved into this whole ecosystem called AllDexRP, basically. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's 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 funny that as you go through these things, you just see more and more doors, and it's yeah, it's usually a case of which ones are going to make the highest impact and yeah. you know give our users the most uh, sort of utility. Um, but yeah, I think I think your AllDexRP thing looks really really slick. Um, I'm on not a test dot on XRP. That- <laughs> is that is that like the the prods of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> our, our testing environment got like uh, somebody figured it out very fast. Um, right. So I just thought like, hey, let's just create a testing environment that's called not a test because nobody's yeah. gonna guess that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, some uh, psychological hacks there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, it's looking really amazing. And yeah, so I guess. So what's your what's your team size and stuff at the moment? Um, are you still sort of self-funded? I think you got one of the first creator funds, didn't you? Or yeah, so um, to, to clarify one thing, the Xpunks is a different company from on XRP. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, different shareholders. Um, I, I am the founder and CEO of both, but right. it is two different entities. Uh, uh, so okay. for the, for the Xpunks, we did receive the creator fund. Uh, and we're building Eden uh, together with Centrex and Ripple, uh, which is going to so- be awesome. The game. Cannot, or... Yeah, I cannot talk too okay. much about it, but it's like gaming metaverse. <laughs> oh, that nice. direction, yep. yeah. But it's it's cool. Uh, we've been developing it for three months now. Uh, total development time is about 10. So I think we have like seven or six months to go. Okay. Um, but yeah, soon we're going to be more unfolding of the story of Eden. Uh, which is yeah, be awesome. I guess I guess that will give you time to sort of yeah. see how the XLS20 launch goes. Exactly. Make any adjustments. Yeah, yeah. should pick out all the bugs and make sure it's all yeah and it's, it's 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 triple a so it's it's like there's a team of about 25 and 25 involved and just Eden. oh wow so yeah nice. it's, it's quite a big chunk um <laughs> then for on xrp we have uh, yeah people involved at first is people on payroll is always a different thing in tech yeah. of course like you know yeah <laughs> um like you, you don't want to have too many people on the payroll especially not in the bear market uh but there is i'd say the core team is about 20 um and it's then substantial yeah <laughs> and then total people involved with the on xrp company i'd say about 90 uh already wow so yeah it's uh yeah it's a lot of people that are working towards the same mission um through collaborations or through partnerships or right. anything yeah, yeah. that you know might benefit them uh, we can leverage our brand 
um, as well uh, for, as we did for on AVEX, you know, uh, that is more of a self running company where we leverage the EVM capabilities of the Avalanche network for XRPL native assets. And we have other people in charge of that, but it's still under the on XRP brand uh, and umbrella basically. Okay. I'm not sure I've seen too much about on AVEX. What, what, so, well, I mean, obviously it's on Avalanche <laughs> as, <laughs> as it may be, but is that like a similar style to the launch pad and stuff? It's sort of yeah. maybe like a, a yeah. lift of what you've got on XRP and just um, yeah. in integrated into Avalanche instead. Yeah, so um, it is, we have a DEX there with liquidity pools, staking farms, uh, like through DeFi, DeFi in the EVM uh, kind of sense. Okay. Then we also have a Launchpad and NFT marketplace there. Okay, cool. But that, so the, the DEX in that case, that's Avalanche have a native DEX as well. Yeah. Um, well, no, no, Avalanche, uh, it's, 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 it's because it's EVM, it's built on top of chain based around smart contracts. Yes. So it's, uh, oh, yeah, so it's not, like just... the, not, not, not like the XPL DEX. It's, uh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wondered if you were using like the same DEX somehow and no. <laughs> like, something crazy no. like that. <laughs> no, we use uh, multi-chain, uh, which is, uh, yeah, well, in my opinion, and uh, that of our CTO, the most reliable bridge out there um, because it's always okay. risky what bridge you choose, but... Multi-chain is very safe and uh, also insured, which is very important that, you know, if there's a breach, the holders will have uh, have insurance based on... Yeah, on, on, on I was going to ask about possible. that because I did see one thing that said, well, not XRP is building the bridge and obviously the alarms go off like, yeah. oh my God, <laughs> what are they getting into? <laughs> yeah, no, we're not building it completely ourselves. We're okay. leveraging, uh, no, we're leveraging uh, the capabilities together with multi-chain in a partnership. Um, uh, nice, so you add into their network. Yeah. Um, They've got about yeah seventy chains, uh one point seven four billion TVL, eighty eight billion volume. That's yeah, it's again pretty crazy. recent size, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, big. And are these guys? So these are separate team, and you're just doing a partnership there to yeah. build capabilities. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. And so you 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 guys have is it on Avax a uh, a separate company again? And have you do you tap into like the VC um, stuff around Avalanche or is that more like grant funds a bit like we got the XLPL grants here and stuff like um, that? No, uh, it's, we're not working together with the Avalanche network. Okay. Um, we're just building on top. Well, we're not building, we're not together with Aval Labs, but we're building on top of the Avalanche network. Yeah. Um, so, so you just saw the, like the community there was like, what sort of drove you to do that as well? Because so, <laughs> you've got, you got a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. So for, in regards to Avalanche, we found a partner called Swapsco. They already had a DEX there. Um, oh, and okay, they reached nice. out to us because their, uh, their founder, he's uh, coincidentally our podcast host. So while he was our podcast host, he was also launching a product. And he's like, hey, let's partner and create D5 for the XPL. Um, right. And then, we, yeah, for sure, like we're like, okay, yeah, let's do it. You know, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so we, that's the, that's why we bridged over the assets towards the Avalanche network and opened a bridge for other XPL projects that, uh, that we know or our own token OXP basically. Okay, yeah, that's interesting because I think DeFi is going to become more and more important within XRP. I know, you know, I think for people to build native DeFi, you're going to either have to do a side chain uh, that's yeah. EVM or some some other one um, and borrow from those communities or wait for hooks and i'm not yeah. sure if hooks will be enough i don't know enough about it to be honest <laughs> I, I don't know either no it's 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 it's, it's amazing technology uh but yeah. i i have no idea about the implication either you know for the avm side we can like if when well if or when the um, sidechain goes live for evm on the xpl we could yeah. put, we could basically fork our decks onto the xpl um okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's cool Okay, yeah. So I guess we sort of covered it a bit, but look, sort of what's the grand vision for this? So you've got this Eden <laughs> coming out, which sounds like a pretty hefty <laughs> undertaking and going to yeah. be, you know, probably next year uh, easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> You're not going to rush that. Um, no. And yeah, I guess you keep building out on XRP with more utility, more functionality. Um, whilst as well i guess that just sort of pulled straight across to on avax as well um and then the bridge between the two lets people access DeFi yeah. <laughs> for uh, stuff like that um 
And like okay. you said, uh, multi-chain works together with 70 chains. So it's not that yeah. we're just looking at one chain. Um, we feel that it's very important to, you know, um, lift the walled gardens, build bridges over walls. Um, yeah. To, to go for true interoperability is, I think, where we want to go right. with the extra PL at heart, um, because that will always be our main focus. However, we do see the value in, you know, bridging the communities between all these silos, because there's a lot of tribalism between yeah. all these blockchain communities. And if we can lift those, we can be, yeah, a powerhouse with the entire blockchain ecosystem, you know, in regards to, yeah, we all have a shared ethos, which is decentralization where it makes sense. Yeah. Um, and I think that if we work together as one blockchain community instead of the XPL community, the Ethereum community, the Bitcoin maximalist, okay, okay maybe not them, but, <laughs> but all the yeah, others, I think sell. that, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Very hard sell, but all the others, I think that that could potentially be a, yeah, a great chance, you know, make some noise and actually change the world. Yeah. So uh, coming back to our sort of introduction, XLS20, what, I guess, what does it mean for you guys, like seeing... The, the birth of X-Punks, for want of a better word, uh, uh, that into a real no NFT <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that means no sleep for, 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 for once. Uh, but no, it's, uh, yeah, we're going to be minting. Um, our goal is to mint, like, as soon as it go live. Uh, okay. We're, um, we're going to do Twitter space. It would be great if you guys join in there as well. It starts uh, 10 minutes prior to uh, the inception of X list 20. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, to, to, you know, celebrate together. And we're going to be working in the background to really, like, turn on the, the platform on the XLS20 mainnet. Yep. So if you say that XLS20 mainnet, you always say XLS20 devnet, but finally uh, on mainnet. Um, so yeah, that will hopefully that will be in the first minutes, hours. Uh, obviously, we have no idea what kind of impact XLS20 will have on uh, the XPL network. However, we're, we're running our own node. So, you know, that's, uh, mm. that, that's our plus. So we can just connect to our own node. Yeah. I'll take that. And yeah, so we're, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go live uh, on the launch, but with the Xbox first um and as a, as a form of a test you know it feels better that if something goes wrong i'm not saying it will i'm not thinking it will because we've tested the platform extensively we're doing a public uh one a public beta currently as well but if something goes wrong i'd rather have it to do with our own project than with all the partner projects we're working together with so first yeah. hour will be xbox will be monitoring to see also the impact on the ledger itself uh, yeah, and if all, that's a yeah. big fear. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We already talked to Vitsa to make sure that uh, he, well, to make sure he already upped our transactions from I think two thousand to ten thousand per minute. Wow. So we can uh, we can do a big bunch. But um, yeah, to go live with the Xbox the first hour or two, monitor, and then we'll do our first partner partner projects, which is going to be about thirteen fourteen, um, and then after. Well, close monitoring again, see the impact. And if yeah. there is no friction cost or any, you know, skyrocketing uh, fees, then, um, yeah, then we're happy and uh, going to release all the others as well. Uh, throughout yeah. the week. So how does that flow actually work? So Xpunks gets minted in your wallet and then people use the IOUs that they have. They come to some sort of thing and exchange it and they get one back or no. are people going in themselves <clears throat> with we, uh, the two IOUs and you're checking that somehow and... Yeah, and so <laughs> uh, we created a very cool tool, uh, if, if I may say so. Uh, we, uh, we, we figured out a way to do a full random mint that mints on the spot because we, like you said, we felt it very importantly that um, the, 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 um, the impact on the network is as low as possible. Um, so what we did is we created a tool that mints an NFT on the spot as soon as you sign a transaction. Uh, so we have an API between IPFS and, 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 and our signing, basically, that stores the data in between. Also, it will get uploaded on IPFS, obviously, for decentralized storage. But there's an API in between so that people don't see the NFT they're going to be minting with the IPFS URL, which you can see happening yeah. on other chains sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which is fun if, if you figure it out, obviously, but <laughs> that's not the way you want to go. Yeah. Um, so yeah, everything will be minted on the spot. Uh, users will redeem their 0 0.5 token for one NFT. And then as soon as they sign a transaction, you'll see a nice you know, image uh, on your screen and then poop, you have the x -Punk minted. And it's uh, Okay, cool. Yeah. And it, it's going to be, that's that whole process could be quite fast, I guess, because that's what XRPL is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I think it like it takes like ten seconds. 
and so oh wow on. okay so yeah. a little bit of a loading time but it's yeah, yeah it's if you have to <laughs> sign a transaction you have to verify the transaction yes uh, and you have to get the notification as well yeah okay so that's going to be quite fun to see um yeah those pinging yeah. through and um everything coming to life in a way yeah. <laughs> no that'd be great and um yeah just from sort of uh, i guess where's this is all going to happen on on xrp um it's all through the site um make it really simple for everyone uh, i guess you need to connect your wallet and stuff beforehand um would be easiest <laughs> yeah <laughs> um and then yeah everything's good i guess so there yeah. might be a bit of a lag between on xrp going on to mainnet people connecting their wallet and being able to mint so hopefully the throughput is a bit lower but yeah, yeah i i like <laughs> i think this is the first time in the world that something like this happens so it's always uh it's always a guess what will happen yeah. <laughs> uh but one thing we made sure is that we have the best service possible uh you know we have an increased limit in zoom um which i can highly recommend every project doing uh, at launching you know it's, it's always willing to help you to yeah. up your limit uh when necessary uh which is important as well yeah. um so yeah, I think it's. It, it, I, I think those elements will uh, will definitely help aid a successful launch. Uh, yeah. My my priority is to, you know give the best experience possible for those who mint because what you see happening on Ethereum or Solana when there's like a, a very popular mint, you see the website always lagging, uh, mints don't go through, and that's always so annoying. So we really want to make sure that everything is as seamless as possible, um, and that there's no friction caused at any step in the user journey. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, it's good to hear from projects that are sort of brave in the day one, <laughs> day yeah. zero or whatever it is, if you're a programmer. <laughs> long yeah, exactly. And, um, how you're, how you're uh, mitigating any circumstances that you can. Um, yeah, I don't know if there, I think that was all my questions. I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to sort of shout out that we haven't touched on. Um, no, yeah. not, 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 I have nothing in mind currently, but uh, thank you. That's cool. Um, yeah, so, well, I will wrap up there then. Um, Thank you so much for your time. I know you must be uh, incredibly stressful <laughs> at the moment, but yeah, hopefully we can get this episode out really quickly and it gives people just that excitement about XLS20 and um, yeah, looking forward to a uh, trick or treat. Sounds great. <laughs> and, uh, th thanks for having me. Thanks for the conversation. Yeah, no problem. All right. Um, that's it, everyone. Thanks for anyone who's still listening. Um, subscribe, like, comment, all the usual stuff. And uh, yeah, tell your friends because that's how this uh, community grows. And uh, thanks once again and uh, yeah, chat soon. <laughs> <laughs>